So this is it, the home that we are interested in. It's in St. Jude. Um, and it has nice bougainvillea there, but um, we needed to get up to the roof and see what the situation was. It appears there's a, a leakage problem from the roof. And so we flew up, and as you can see, the neighbors have a beautiful roof, beautiful home. And right away we spotted uh, troublesome areas on the roof that used what looks like a uh, car putty, the putty that you would use, uh, that red putty doesn't, I'm not sure if that's an appropriate, uh, well, let's, let's find out what's going on up here. Over in this corner, um, this is where we spotted on the interior on the second floor that there was definitely a leak there and that it had been fixed. It appeared that uh, since it's the rainy season and there was no stains on the interior wall, uh, we are hoping that this uh, uh, patching process up here actually was successful. And so we're kind of looking around at uh, why would the nails or screws have a problem? We don't know, um, but um, Apparently, they were using the wrong product to nail down the roof. And then we have your uh, bit of a problem here, it looks like, uh, with the air conditioning uh, system. There's more than one on the roof. Um, this is the first one that we show. And there are a total of four. There's three on the roof, and then there's one in the garage. You also saw a satellite dish there, but... I'm not sure if that's ever going to be functional again since we have Starlink, which is uh, the latest technology. And over here in a corner, it looks a little bit patched up. And we know that the post is uh, suffering from a lot of moisture downstairs. Uh, the post will have to be uh, the plywood around the post or drywall, whatever it is. It's going to have to be replaced and see, see if we can fix that up. This uh, doesn't look too bad, but right here next to this um, air handler, uh, there appears to be a serious problem. And again, once again, the posts uh, downstairs appear to have a lot of water damage, which will have to be fixed. So that's kind of what we're dealing with in terms of expenses and what needs to be done to make this home livable again. And the grass on both sides has been cut, which is, which is really nice. Um, when we first went there, it was uh, the grass was very long. It's been cut back now. Unfortunately, it's been used as a dump by somebody. And there's lots, lots of trash underneath the uh, green cuttings here on the um, both sides of this home. But that's good enough. Let's... Uh, Let's take the drone up now and let's see what the community looks like, okay? Oh, and of course, uh, I met the guy from Georgia, um, Sali or Saldi or something like that. This man from Georgia who's building the home across the street um, with his Filipino wife, Filipina. And as you can see, we're right across the street from the swimming pool. Uh, all members, of course, can use that pool, but there is a, a fee. But it's, and let's just kind of uh, look through the uh, entire property. Um, I noticed that one home looks way out of the way here. I have to see that one. On the left side, there was a home that had a very long driveway. But first, let's come down and take a look at the pool. It has a really nice baby pool for Shirley and the grandkids and I can do laps in the kidney shaped pool and over here is a basketball court and a playground basketball court and a playground for the kids so uh, there's the entrance right next to the the swimming pool off on the left there's the entrance it's very convenient to the um, Jolly Bee and to um, uh, Vista Mall. Vista Mall and across the street is um, Wilcon. And now I just have a series of uh, cell phone photos. What is this electrical box above the meter? Um, most important thing, of course, is that the four air handlers work. I'd, I'd like you to tell me 
uh, what condition is the, uh, the air conditioning system in. And here on the uh, outside, we have to redo the lighting fixtures and the logs. They look very nice, I think, when I'm done. The um, horizontal slots, uh, they, they looked okay, but if you look underneath, um, they're in pretty bad shape. They'll have to be uh, replaced or redone. Um, from the top, they don't look too bad. Um, and then just everywhere, there's, uh, there's cracks. Um, and uh, I try not to be too concerned about that. Buildings do settle after they're built, but hopefully there's no structural problem here. It's just cracks. You can offer me a comment if you have anything to say about these. But the last thing is kind of funny. Like, here's your neighbor. It's like, do you have any idea what this thing is? It almost looks like a, a bus converted to a home on the left-hand side there. I don't know. And he has his own little roundabout. Um, just wondering what that is. That's all.